And now a hometown tour of Central City. Central City was founded in the mid-1850s, nestled on the Wapsipinicon River. And the name Central City refers to its proximity to railroads, which were the main form of transportation in its time. And as was the way, from humble origins, a good-sized community sprang up with businesses of all types and schools and several residences. And you fast forward to the present, and you see a thriving community sitting on the busy Highway 13 between Manchester and Cedar Rapids. And as the city has grown and evolved, there's a group of people that have a duty to preserve the past. The Central City Historical Society maintains several buildings and properties that tell the story of Central City. And board member Gary Greif tells us the work of the society and that this year is also a special year for them. Well, it's actually our 40th anniversary this year. We have a lot of things going. We have the Sawyer House there in town, which is an 1880s house that we're trying to get renovated and back into shape. And then we have a library that was moved in in the 90s. And then we actually have the city library, which is Clegg's library. That used to be the main library in town. And if you want to look over the historical collection the society has amassed, have any questions, or need to do some genealogy research, they are available to give you a hand. They're open every Tuesday morning till noon for people to come in and tour and ask questions and do some genealogy in there. There's a couple of uh, people that are on our board that go and open it every Tuesday morning for a couple hours. If you have a group of people that would like to do a little more in-depth exploring of the historical buildings in Central City, the society would be more than happy to show you around. They can get a hold of us and uh, we do tours and or luncheons at the Sawyer House and they do tours of whatever wants to be toured. Uh, there is people that will take the time out of their day and do it. It's kind of nice. The restored Sawyer House, built around 1878 and it's furnished in 1900 to 1920 style. It's three stories and it's referred to as the Wedding Cake House. Now this house is used for tours, teas, and receptions. And then you have the Brown Farm from around 1872. It's an Iowa Century farm and it's a favorite destination and home to a great summer event. Well, the Brown Farm is a farm that was donated to the Central City Historic Society. We have uh, Pioneer Days there every year. It's the last full weekend in July. This year's dates are actually July 30th and 31st. And uh, we'll put on an antique threshing type show. We'll have steam powered sawmill. This year we're actually featuring the international trucks instead of a tractor. Not only is the Central City Historical Society growing, the entire city is experiencing growth as well. But they, too, see the value in preserving the look of their earlier years. Their Main Street going, they're constantly doing new building repairs and upgrading, you know, these older towns, which rather than just letting it slide away. They're doing a lot of improvements in the town itself for that. If you're looking to learn more about Central City, its history, and preserved assets, there's always a place to go to start your research. We actually have one for the Central City Historic Society, a Facebook page, and we also, also have a Brown, Brown Farm Pioneer Days Facebook page, a separate one completely. We've had that a few years and we do get a lot of uh, interaction back and forth on that one. That one's very active. And also Gary Greif reminds us that if you have an item of historical significance that you would like to share, you're more than welcome to contact a society member. And if you're a history buff or just have an interest in the history of Eastern Iowa or Lynn County, you owe it to yourself to make a trip to Central City and see all that the Historical Society has to offer you. And the entire organization does welcome your visit, and they look forward to showing you the early days of Central City. For Hometown Tours Central City, I'm Rob Edwards on Mix 94.7 KMCH.